In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Rike for project management. If you're interested in doing project management and you want to use Rike, then this is great because this is a full step-by-step -step Rike tutorial for beginners. What I'm going to do in today's video is simply show you how you can get started on this platform. I'm going to show you the features, pricing, and how you can actually use the software itself. So I'm going to go inside of the platform and show you how you can start using it even without spending any money. So if you're interested in this project management tutorial, keep watching and let's get started. All right, so here we are on the Rike website. In order to get started, you do need to sign up for an account. Now, what you can do is choose different payment plans. We've got a free plan, we've got a professional plan, a business plan, and then we've got enterprise. Now for today's video, I'm gonna get started with the free plan to show you what you can get without spending any money. Do know that you'll always have the opportunity to simply level up and go to a professional or even a business plan. Now what you can do is go to these different sec uh, sectors and then you can find what will fit for you. What I'm gonna do, like I said, is simply sign up with a free account. Now that will get me a board view, task management, file sharing, real-time activity stream, a spreadsheet view, basic integrations, and all of this stuff. So I can keep going for a while, but, but why not sign up and show you what it looks like from the inside. Once you've done that, you wanna make sure to activate your account by simply opening up your email. Once you've done that, you've created a password, and you can then go ahead and sign in to your Rike account. And here we are, we can now get going. First of all, they're gonna take you through the sign up process and they're gonna ask you a couple of questions. So what exactly it is that you do? Project management, creative design, pro, it just depends on what you do yourself. So I'm gonna go with project management. Then, then they're gonna ask you how large the company is. I'm gonna go with two up to 50 employees. I'm gonna click on uh, continue with the free plan. And this is where you can start inviting your team. So if you're doing a project, um, with a team, you can then invite all the team members on that specific team so that you can then manage them and they can get access to all of the boards and info that's necessary in order for you to run the team. So what you would do is simply put in their emails right here to invite them. Once you've done that, you'll end up right here and this is the home page. You can watch this tutorial if you want to, but you're already watching this, so that should be fine. You'll end up right here. This is the home page on Rike. In order to get going with project management, what you can do, like I just said, is invite your team members and then also set up a to-do list or simply a board where you can then put in tasks for the specific project. In order to get that started, you want to create a space. Now on other softwares like monday.com or maybe Trello or Asana, you'll see boards. On Rike, they call it a space. If you click on explore uh, space, you can click on create space which will then send you over here. And this is where, once again, you can invite members and you can also enter a space name. For example, I might go with how to digital editing. If that's the project that I wanna run, I'll give that name to it and that's it. You can choose to make this a private or a public board. I highly recommend you make this private, especially if you're working on stuff that the public shouldn't see yet because otherwise it might leak or it's just not worth doing so. So simply choose private or public. Once again, I recommend going with private and you can then also change the icon. So let's say that you've got a specific logo or a specific color within your company. You can then choose that. So I might go with a blue rocket, click create and there we go. I've now created my first ever space on Rike. I can now get started with the project management itself. So this is what a specific space looks like. This is pretty much where you would start adding tasks and pretty much um, like work out your specific project itself. I'm gonna start by adding a task. For example, this video needs to get edited. So I'll type in uh, Rike Tutorial Editing. If I then click enter, it will show up right here. And this is now a task that needs to be done. What I can do is simply click on that task and I can then start adding a lot of stuff. One of them is adding an assignee. Let's say that there's a specific person that needs to do this specific task. What you can do is simply click on add assignee right here. You would then click on their profile, so that could be me, and you would then assign them to that specific task. I highly recommend you do that because that makes it really easy for people, for your team to know 
what needs to get done, and you can also get a great overview of who's doing what. So if you just have all of these tasks in the uh, tasks in this list, and you don't know who's gonna do what, then it might be overwhelming. But as of right now, you already know that Gary is gonna do the right tutorial editing, so you don't need to worry about it. What you can then also do is set a specific date. For example, if this video needs to go live on the 20th of April, I might wanna have it done on the 19th. So I would select the 19th of April, and there we go. So as of right now, I just put in a specific task. I added someone to do that specific task. I then also added a date so that I know when this needs to get done and when it will actually be done as well. Now you can do in progress, you can do completed. So let's say uh, let's say that the person working on this is currently, uh, yeah, like I said, working on it. You would then do in progress and the overviewer, so the project manager, would then be able to see that the right tutorial video editing uh, task is, I mean, is due on the 19th of April and it's currently in progress brought, uh, by this specific employee or team member, which in this case is Gary. Now, apart from that, you can also create a board. If you click on the plus icon, you can click on board and you can then create a board. Now, a board is really similar to a list. It's just a different view. For example, this is where you would add, uh, add all the tasks. So I would say task one, task two, task three. So you would put in all the things that need to be done within a specific week. You can then once again click on it to assign people, to set dates, to attach files, to add descriptions, to make sure that everyone understands what needs to get done. Now let's say that the person then starts working on that, he or she would then drag it over into the in progress list. Once it's then done, he or she would then drag it over into the completed list. You can also work with on hold or canceled and this makes it very easy to understand what's going on with a specific task. So as of right now, let's say that I'm the project manager, I would know that for the Reich uh, video, the editing is in progress. If it's done, that person would uh, slide it over to complete it and I'll then know that I don't need to worry about that specific task and I'll just know that it's done. So that's how you can use spaces, but that's not all there is to Reich. On Reich, you can also create your own to-do list. If you click on my to-do in the top right corner, you'll end up right here and this is gonna be exactly the same as what I just showed you. However, this is gonna be your personal to-do list. So this is just for you, task one, task two, task three, there you go. You can then put in all of these tasks. You can then mark them as done when you're uh, done, so you've completed them, and that's your personal to-do list. You will also have created by me. You've got your stare tasks if you want to. You've got calendars, dashboards, reports, stream. So for example, if I go to this one, you'll see that it's a premium feature calendars, you'll see that it's also premium. So for the free version of Rike, you can indeed use the standard stuff, such as the to-do list, the boards. So all of that comes in handy when doing project management. If you wanna take this up a level, I do recommend upgrading to a premium plan so that you can use calendars, dashboards, reports, and the stream functions. Now, all of these things are not highly necessary. It just depends on what you're doing. If you're just running a simple project, for example, a video editing project, you would definitely um, be able to do whatever it is that you need to do by simply using the free plan and by using these kind of boards. Now, if you're running a business, let's say an e-commerce business or an e-commerce project, and you wanna have some more stats, some dashboards, some reports, calendars, all of that, I do recommend upgrading because there's a lot to these specific features that you won't get with the free plan. However, this is gonna be the free plan tutorial, and for that, I've pretty much shown you the basics and how you can use this. Now, once again, if you click on the plus icon in the top right corner, you can create a task, space, or a project. If you click on project or folder, I haven't shown you guys this, you can simply get going right away. For example, this might be how to digital, and then we'll go with thumbnails. If you then do project, you'll do the starting and the finish date. For example, the finish date and then the starting date is gonna to be today. You can then go with a list, board or table. I'll just go with a board for now. Click create and that's how you can create a brand new project or a brand new board.
That is pretty much it. So Reich is very easy to use. I highly rate this as a project management tool. Is it better than Monday.com or Asana or ClickUp or Trello? Well, it's not necessarily better. It just depends on what it is that you need it for. If you need a lot of complex stuff, this won't do. If you just need a basic project management tool, this is great. So yeah, if this video helped you out, guys, I would highly appreciate it. If you can leave a like on the video, thank you so, so much. The YouTube algorithm appreciates it. And then I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.